Hi, I'm Kristen Narvaez and I work for Invertec Drysk. Today I'm going to show you how the E3 can control different types of motors. It will work with a standard induction motor, of course, but it can be easily set up to operate different types, such as brushless DCs, synchronous reluctance, and permanent magnet motors. These motors are becoming an attractive solution in many drive applications because they have lower losses than a standard induction motor. They always have to work in vector control and need a different setup procedure. For a standard induction motors, such as I2, I3 and I4 types, no special setup is needed. Let's look at the brushless DC motor here. First of all, we need to set the correct motor parameters. This is particularly important when using vector control. You can usually get the information you need from the motor rating plate or the motor data sheet. Press navigate for a couple of seconds to access the parameters. Scroll with up or down a rows to the parameter P7, the motor voltage. Press navigate again to access the parameter value. This can be a bit tricky with these motors, as we need the nominal voltage or vacuum F that the motor produces at rated speed. This may be shown as UN on the rating plate or data sheet. The motor we have is 160 volts, so I'll put that in. Press navigate again and then scroll to the next parameter, parameter 8. This is the motor nominal current IN, which is important for protection. Rating play says 0.9A. Set that using the up and down arrows. Press navigate and scroll to parameter 9, which is the motor nominal frequency Fn. In this case, this should be 100 Hz. Now, go to parameter 10, which is the motor nominal speed Nn. Again, from the datasheet, this should be 3000. To access all the other parameters, we will need to set parameter 14 to 201 to access the extent parameter set. It is recommended to use a switching frequency of 16 kHz for these motors, so we'll just check that in parameter 17. In the E3, there are just a few more parameters compared with E2, and the motor parameters begin at P51, which selects the different control modes. Here, we will set it to 3 for brushless DC motor control. OK, finally, we need to enable auto-tune in parameter 52. Setting this to 1, press and hold to start the auto-tune, and the motor is energized although it won't rotate. Autotune may take some time, so we'll wait for that to complete. Autotune is best done on a cold motor, because the drive measures values such as stator resistance that vary a lot with temperature. Now the drive is ready to run. It just needs an enable signal and a set point speed. You can see we have a stable operation of the motor, even at no load. If necessary, you can improve the stability and performance of the system by adjusting the gain of the vector control using parameter 53. The E3 is one of the few standard drives to work with all these different motors, and I think in the future we will see more and more applications for it. For more information, look out for other training videos from Invertech or go to invertechdrives.com. Bye for now.